This pattern has both a tall pumpkin and a wide pumpkin shape and a corresponding face for each. You can get this pattern by clicking the link on the screen or by going to thewoodlandelf.com slash patterns and clicking on the pumpkin applique pattern. Choose one of the pumpkin sizes and cut out your chosen pattern pieces. Then cut all the pieces out of fabric. The fabric I'm using here is from a few shirts I got from the Salvation Army, and I cut them up to get the pieces. And this is what you'll have. Position your orange pumpkin piece on your shirt where you want it and then you're going to blanket stitch around the entire outside of the pumpkin. Thread your needle with a piece of thick black thread and tie a knot at the bottom. Starting on the underside of the shirt, pull the needle through just below the pumpkin piece until only two inches of the tail thread remain on the underside. Then put the needle down about a quarter of an inch above the first needle hole, this time going through both the pumpkin and the top layer of the shirt. Push the needle through the tail loop and pull the whole thing up tight. Then put the needle up below the pumpkin again next to the first hole and pull the needle under the first stitch. That'll straighten out the thread and pull the whole thing tight. Then it gets easy from here. Put the needle down through the pumpkin and then without pulling the thread tight you're going to put the needle up below the pumpkin making sure you're inside the thread loop and pull it up tight so it makes the stitches vertical. Then you're just going to keep going like that all the way around the pumpkin, putting it down through the pumpkin in the top layer of the shirt and bringing it up and making sure it's inside the loop. When you get to the last stitch, push it down through both layers and tie it off on the underside of the shirt. Then you'll just do the same thing with all the face pieces. And the stem as well. You want to make sure you're going through both the applique pieces and the top layer of the shirt, but make sure you're not going through the bottom layer of the shirt or you won't be able to wear it. And here we have the finished shirts.